Mastering English Fillers. Unlock the key to fluent conversation. Hello, learners. Welcome to our new lesson. Today, we're going to focus on an aspect of English conversation that often goes unnoticed but plays a crucial role in smooth, natural dialogue. We're talking about fillers. So, what exactly are fillers? In a conversation, fillers are words or phrases that we use when we are thinking about what to say next. They are not necessary for the sentence to make sense, but they help to keep the conversation flowing and prevent awkward silences. Some common English fillers include, um, ah, uh, like, you know, and, well. Now that we know what fillers are, let's dive deeper into the purpose of using fillers. Subsection 2.1. Time Buying. One of the primary reasons we use fillers is to buy time. We use these short, usually meaningless words and phrases when we need a moment to gather our thoughts or decide what to say next. This allows us to hold on to our turn in the conversation without creating uncomfortable silences. Subsection 2.2. Signal understanding or uncertainty. Fillers can also be used to signal that we're listening and understanding what the other person is saying. For example, if someone is telling you a story, you might interject with a, right, uh aha, -huh, or, I see, to show that you're engaged and following along. On the other hand, fillers can also convey uncertainty or confusion. If you're unsure about something, you might start your sentence with a, well, to indicate that you're still processing or deciding. Subsection 2.3, Softening Statements. Finally, fillers can also be used to soften statements or requests, making them sound more polite or less direct. For instance, instead of saying, do it now, you might say, could you, um, do it now? The filler, um, makes the request sound less bossy and more considerate. That's a wrap on our discussion about fillers and their purpose in English conversation. Remember, using fillers is a natural part of speaking English and can make your conversation sound more fluent and authentic. Practice using them in your daily conversations, but be mindful not to overuse them. Too many fillers can make you sound unsure or indecisive. Thanks for joining me today. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.